Hey, what's up? My name is Andre, and this is the C++ tutorial about the new versus malloc. So pretty much you want to use malloc whenever you are doing some low-level C stuff or just some C library and you're not using C++ for whatever reason and you want to use new whenever you can. <laughs> and that's it as a very simplifi simplified way, but yeah. Uh, let me show you some examples on how exactly do they differ. So if I want to use my malloc on this object, which is a player, and I want to actually allocate 10 players, uh, I will need to write a function. And I need to write a function because I have a vector pointer. And the vector pointer will normally point to nothing. It will have no memory allocated whatsoever. And if I want to actually work it out and don't work on some shenanigans with other mallocs somewhere else, the best way is to just create a function. And in this function, as you can see, I'm just allocating a certain amount of instances that is bigger than one. And I'm just doing base equals to static cast. And I'm doing static cast because malloc is just a library function that returns you a void pointer. And if it works, it will return you the void pointer to a certain, certain place in the memory where it actually allocated something, or it will return you a null pointer. And yeah, I'm just saying size of player times amount of instances, and I'm checking whether or not the allocation worked. If it didn't, nothing is allocated, I'm just returning null pointer, I don't care. But if it did, I'm doing the allocation for the vector. So there I'm actually making it point to somewhere, and it will point to the result of malloc of size of vector times amount of instances. And later I'm checking, all right, if this allocation didn't work, I'm using the free method, which is just freeing my memory that was allocated, so I don't have any memory leak, and I'm returning a null pointer because it didn't work. But if everything worked, I'm returning a base. So here I will have my player pointer to something, but also I need later to delete it if it worked. So I need a function that checks a right. If the past pointer is valid, then I'm doing a free on the vector and free on the pointer itself. So I don't have any shenanigans with anything and I don't have my memory leak. And yeah, that's pretty much for malloc. But there's a thing, you can see I have a constructor in the player and it will see out constructed. If I run my program, I don't have anything printed, like nothing. And yeah, that's malloc for you. It allocates only memory and nothing else. If you want to initialize something, that's up to you. <laughs> but since C++, we've got our new and also delete. And new pretty much not only allocates, but also initialize like the whole memory and also calls the constructor, which is really helpful. So right now I'm using the new with brackets, but I can also use a new without them and also delete without them. Pretty much Right now I'm constructing only one object. So if I want to construct 10 of them, I need to add brackets not only here and tell it actually how many objects they want to allocate, but also here to, here to the delete, because delete without brackets will just delete one thing. And if I want to delete a certain amount of things, I need to add brackets to, for example, this pointer. So it will delete kind of array in the memory. But yeah, now if I just call that, Let's say, let's, I just commented it out. You can see that I have the print of constructed times 10. So I pretty much allocated and initialized. I mean, if I had something to initialize there, like ID equals something or whatever in the constructor, it would be initialized. So yeah, that's one thing. And also since the malloc and its friends are just like, some library functions and new and delete are actually operators. You can override them in your objects. So here I have the override for the operators with brackets. You can do it like without brackets for delete and for new. But since I'm doing it for a multiple amount of instances, I'm using the brackets. I'm just calling a write. New was called, delete was called, and I'm just calling malloc and free pretty much you only want to like override it whenever you are doing some uh, memory checks like 
does this class cause some, I mean, not the class, but you check, all right, does the operation on this class cause some memory leak? Uh, if it's, yeah, if it does, then when? And yeah, you're just tracking your memory pretty much. And that's it. So as you can see, I have my new code and delete code at the end. So yeah. Also, the thing that Malok and his friends can do and new cannot is uh, changing the place where you allocated stuff because you have the rig alloc and that's pretty much it for you you can also tell it where do you want to start the allocation by writing it like that and sometimes it can optimize your code but also it depends and it's not like for just the differences of the basics of those uh, two things and yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching and i see you in the next one bye